In today's video, I am going to explain to you a little bit from a different point of view why you do not have what you want. And exactly I will explain you this one reason because it's the only one thing that it needs to be understood to be able to correctly manifest, correctly attract and actually have things, desires, dreams into your reality. And trust me, if you will grasp it, the idea, if you will grasp it, this scientific process, you will understand that you are doing wrong, like I did it for many years. I hope you're ready. Yo, yo, everybody, it's Polly and welcome to my channel. I'm spiritual love attraction and self-development coach, and I'm here for you, for you to have a better life, for you to have things in your life that you deserve to have, because you have dreams, you have desires, and we don't want them to be only a desires. We want to live to the fullest. That's why I'm sharing all my knowledge, all my practices, all that I went through, so you can have it the same way, and you don't need to make a mistakes that I did. You will have a the easy way instead of the tough one, right? So if you're here for the first time, thank you so much. If you're with me on the spiritual journey, thank you. Super grateful. And today I'm going to talk about something that you may have not heard. Okay, I usually teach law of attraction based on spiritual teachers like uh, Joseph Murphy, Abraham Hicks, Neville Goddard, or also from my mentor that I learned my spirituality from, which is Master Sri Akashana. And, you know, if you know basics, at least, of spirituality and love attraction, it is you attract what you are. You can um, visualize things with the feelings, right, as you're already having. So you're visualizing the wish fulfilled. For example, if you want to have money, you're imagining yourself as you already have that money right here, right now. And you're adding the feelings, how it makes you feel to have that money. The same is with love. If you want to attract the perfect partner, someone who can be truly and fully in love for all your life, what you're doing, you're not wishing for that love. You're not like seeking and thinking, oh, that would be so great if I'd be in love. You are imagining, visualizing, feeling and thinking as you already have this in this present moment right here, right now. So you're basically putting yourself in a future self shoes and you're feeling all those emotions in the present tense. Okay, and this is simple, right? The idea is easy to understand. Now the question is, why people knowing this idea, why people knowing the law of attraction, knowing the rules, the principles, are not having what they want? Because if they would have, the videos wouldn't be here, the teaching wouldn't be here, the people wouldn't be struggling, the people wouldn't be poor, people wouldn't be upset with broken hearts. And that's a fact. So it is something that or is missing or haven't been told or it's something that people are doing wrong. And you can tell me that you've done so much spiritual practices, visualizing, scripting, different methods, um, detaching, let it go, uh, seeing yourself with a future self, trusting and so many other things, right? And somehow you are still landed in this video because you are curious because maybe it's something missing, this missing piece. So let me break down for you because imagine if you can actually um, have this ability to achieve things that you want to do not need to worry, to do not need to keep doing, keep practicing, keep thinking, keep, you know, killing your mind, keep being overwhelmed. Well, if you can actually live your life easy, relaxed, joyful, right? And the things still will be coming into your reality. If we want really something, right? Especially if it's a big desire, if we're talking about house, money, new job, career, love, love is a big thing. We really want that thing to be in our life. And where we're setting our intention that we want to achieve that thing, if we're even writing this thing in the present tense that we already got it, we take in an action because obviously to everything you need to take action. Yes, you can visualize, you can, you know, be like a monk sitting in the mountains and things will happen. But I don't think you're quite there yet. We are here human beings and we need to understand and grasp this one idea, this one model, this one principle that when I understood, 
everything just becomes so easy. So let me go back to the topic. You want something. So what it is happening by you practicing visualizing, by you doing different techniques towards that thing, by you meditating and seeing yourself as you already got it. And during the day you walk in and you're thinking, I'm that person. I have it. I have it. I have it. What is happening? You are putting so much importance on that thing. That this thing is the main thing at the moment. You are manifesting this thing. You are visualizing this thing. You are scripting about that thing. You are feeling like you already got it. And you like put so much importance. That this thing becomes a, a main thing in your current life. In this moment. What is happening? You creating excess potential. And what is excess potential? In this world that we live in right now. Everything is balanced right? It needs, it's keep the, the frequency, the alignment of the balanced life. This is the ideal balanced life. So what is happening if you're putting so much of importance on something, the balance is not kept, right? So what is happening? It is another force, which is called balance forces. The balance forces will enter the situation, will enter the, the life path of yours, the field that you are in, and it will level up. The situation, the importance down for you to be in balance because everything needs to be balanced. So what it will happen? You will not get that thing because you wanted too much that thing because you are putting all your attention, all your energy there. So balance will come and it will drop it down and will level up. And yes, it may feel, feel and sound paradoxical. But on the other hand, this is so true. Like... Instead of this, what you could do, you could set your intention, money, love, career, house, car, abundance. Your intention is set. You know because you trust. You will get it. How you will get it? That's not my problem. The God, the universe, the energy, the field will give me that outcome because I already set my intention. And what you are doing, you are taking an action and you're living in the moment. Align with what you want. Can you see the difference? Without putting yourself so much and so much and so much. I want, I have, I have. It, it's so not balanced. You're already creating very chaotic energy, very unstable energy. Instead of this, everything is balanced. The things are manifesting. And the thing is, when you're setting your intention, you don't need to do much anymore. You know it's happening. You're living happy and taking an action every single day, small step to what you want. Now you will just wait to receive. The biggest problem is that it's hard to accept that idea. Because if we don't take an action towards something, if we know, keep trying, keep doing, keep trying, keep doing, it feels like we're losing it. Like, okay, it feels like it'll be forgotten. But I want. And the thing is, we are waiting and nothing is happening because it is in the process, right? What we're doing, we're giving up. We're dropping it. We're going back to this obsessive thinking of putting importance. This is my main goal. This is my main goal. What are you doing? You're creating excess potential again. Boom, balance will come and drop you down again. And believe it me, it was a huge game changer for me. When me and my boyfriend were manifesting, me and Josh were manifesting to get a million views on a video. Let's have on one of our shorts because we've got different channels, Josh and Polly, for those of you who don't know. And we're manifesting and manifesting. Yes, let's have it every day. We're, you know, say, saying out loud our, our manifestation in the present tense. We already got it during the day. We're thinking, yes, which action, what we're doing. Yes, what we're going to have it. And we were constantly having this in our flow. But in the same time, either we like it or not, we're putting too much importance because with everything we're doing, we're thinking... To have that goal, to have that goal, we, we yeah, to achieve that, to achieve, you know what I mean? It was constantly the, 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 the importance there. The energy wasn't relaxed, wasn't like, I trust, and whichever way will happen, it will come to me. The moment we are, start reading that book, because actually, this concept is coming from book, Transurfing, this is the book. When we start reading the book, we were like, you know, that's so true. We set our intention. We know what we want. We're taking actions every day, but let's freaking enjoy what we do. Without seeking, without, you know, constantly thinking about that God, let's enjoy. And believe it or not, after we've released, after we start 
having fun with what we're doing, the views will start coming like crazy. And we reach 20 million views on a short. We reach 15 million and millions, they're just coming naturally now because we took the importance out. And you know, this is a rule, a principle that you will have to apply to anything you do, to anything you do. How many times you've been in a situation when you really, really want something and you were doing things towards that and studying and practicing and, you know, educating yourself and, and doing so much. And you knew that you, you, it's, you are so prepared for, for that thing, but because you wanted so much, you put so much importance on that thing, you didn't get it at the end. And sometimes you're going unprepared. You're going to feel like, you know what? If I will have it, I have it. I will try. I will give it a go. I want, you know what I mean? you like, Kind of, I will trust. Whatever will happen, it'll happen. And so many times, majority of these times, it happens because you want it. You have a pure intention. You were doing things towards it, but you didn't like put your all eggs in one basket. You weren't like holding to this so much. And this principle applies to anything you do, to every single desire. Because I did it. And things are happening in completely different way. First of all, I am so relaxed. I am really feeling good by enjoying things that I'm doing, to taking me closer to that. And in the meantime, without me planning, without me forcing, without me organizing, without me even thinking or putting importance, things are coming from very unpredictable ways. Because trust me, you can become a millionaire from really coincidental meeting with somebody random. You can meet that love of your life by you meeting somebody who knows somebody, who met somebody, who takes you somewhere, boom. You didn't know, you didn't expect, you didn't plan, but you were enjoying every single moment right here, right now. You are doing so many things to become the best, to take the best, to, to live the best, to, to just be your best version. And this is the principle. Remember, every single time when you will put too much importance, excess potential will come. Excess potential is not a positive thing. And to remove excess potential, balance forces will come and drop it down, will take your desire away. On the other hand, if everything is in balance, you will open the doors of possibilities, opportunities, and the path will be clean. Everything will be flowing to you. So I hope you got the message. How important is this and how much you can achieve by adding this super important law, principle, rule into your life. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you took any value as well, so if so, give me a thumbs up and the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, this is your opportunity and smash notification bell icon so you always be aware because I'm dropping twice a week gems for you. And before you will go, if you want to level up your manifestation practices, if you want to know what is the journey of getting what you want, because you may face so many challenges, this video is really transformational and this video will keep you going, not giving up and be aware where you are in your life. So must watch, it will help you enhance your manifestation. And for now, I kiss you, I love you, I miss you. Until the next